Roadside clippings are harvested twice a year and available in high volumes. Within grassification, we searched for new solutions in the area of building materials. We had two goals. One was to solve the logistic pathway and densify the grass so that it doesn't cost uh, as much to transport it. And the second goal was to store carbon for as long as possible in new materials. As raw materials, we used three types of roadside clippings and bio-based and mineral binders. The first type of grass clippings we used were fresh dried grass, like this one, press cake from fresh grass and also digested grass. Roadside clippings are very voluminous. In order to reduce costs and reduce emissions in transportation, we developed a setup to compact the grass. This bale has about 20% of the volume of the original pile of grass clippings. Our roadside clippings contain different fractions of fibers. We have a straw fraction with long fibers, a middle fraction, pulpy, and a dust fraction also containing sand and minerals. With these different uh, fractions, we set up experiments to produce uh, fiber boards for which we used uh, different types of bio-based binders. We started with small samples, like these, which we pressed on the panel press, which then we upscaled to a, a slightly larger size. The first boards were not uh, uh, compact enough and uh, too lightweight. So as we increased the amount of bio-based binder, we obtained these darker uh, panels, which are very compact and quite heavy. In the future, with some extra testing, making the panels stronger, we could use them in furniture and timber framing constructions. Apart from these fiberboard panels, we also experimented with mineral binders to produce these types of building blocks. For this, we used chalk or cement, which is a mineral binder, different types of grass clippings, fibers, and also we added in some experiments, hemp shives. We put this with water, we mixed it, and we put it in these molds to produce, after some time, these building blocks. All our prototypes will be integrated in this demonstration construction. It's a timber framing construction in which all the materials we developed have been integrated. In order to increase the strength and upscale the size, we will experiment with other types of plant material, like these hop stems. With our grass, and by using the same jack as we used for the baling, we developed a setup to push grass inside these tubes and inside a fabric, a netted fabric, which results in these types of sausages, which can be laid in a certain shape. We add bio-based binder, we press it together and we obtain this tile, which can be used in flooring applications or roofing applications. A number of steps are still required to set these prototypes in the market. We will have to test their properties and compare them to commercial available materials such as wood-based panels and conventional building blocks. But with some extra research and uh, collaboration with industrial partners, it should be possible to use these materials next to the conventional ones in real applications.